Singapore, being a resource scarce nation, has recognised the importance of reducing wastage, where the government has come up with plans like the Singapore Sustainability Plan. However, with the rapid increase in affluence of Singaporeans, many have failed to develop good habits that conserve our limited resources and prioritise convenience above our environment. Today, we seek to examine the question, are Singaporeans a wasteful lot? And so, morning dawn. Hmm, what's this? Air conditioning at 18 degrees Celsius with the light and fan left on throughout the night? Did you know that 84% of an average household's electrical consumption comes from the usage of air conditioning? This is more than 20 times the cost should a fan be used instead. All primary surveys suggest that 40% of the respondents use the air conditioning for more than 5 hours a day, which is a lot of electricity used. Oh, there's Mary. Seems like someone had a great rest. And here goes her alarm. She must have been charging her phone before she slept. Nice and full battery. But this actually consumed 8 watts of energy, which is enough to power an energy-saving lamp for the same duration. Now Mary's definitely up. There she goes. There she goes again. Um, without turning off the lights, fans, and air conditioning? Oh wait, who's that? Trusty Miss Lamb is here to clean up after Mary. Turning off appliances they are not in use and not charging a phone overnight are good and cost-saving habits to cultivate. Mary's here to brush her teeth, but she seems to have forgotten something. Leaving the tap on while brushing her teeth weighs about 6 litres of water each time, which is a definite no-no. Look at all those clean water just running down the drain. What a waste. Ah, here comes Miss Lamb again just in time to remind Mary to use a tumbler rather than letting all those water go to waste. Mary is all ready to go to work. Phone, wallet, necessities checked. Not to forget, water. In 2013, $149 million worth of bottled water were consumed, and this is anticipated to increase $270 million in 2020. But bottled water, made from plastic which has an incredibly long half-life, poses many environmental threats. Hmm, seems like Miss Lamb is here for another friendly reminder to get Mary to use a water bottle instead. Water bottles are reusable and this reduces the impact on the environment. Don't forget to switch off the lights and fans when leaving the room. Someone used to tell me that hard work, dreams and dedication is the formula to success. Mary sure seems to be hard at work. Oops, that's definitely a spelling error on that printout. No, 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 no. You do not crush a paper just because of a mistake. In 2014 alone, 1,237,400 tons of paper waste was generated, which is equivalent to the meaningless sacrifice of 15 million trees. Yup, we all see that glaring mistake. Fret not, Miss Lamb is here to save the day, I mean, the trees. The mistake can be corrected by hand and the handout remains as useful. Time fast? Seems like Mary's enjoying her lunch break with yummy bar chow mee. Or perhaps not? She has abandoned the bar chow mee and came back with nasi lemak. Seems like nasi lemak don't suit Mary's taste as well. What's this? Oh, chicken chop. Seems like this is what Mary is looking for. Um, is 
she done with her food already? But there's almost half of the food remaining. There has been a 50% increase in food waste over the past decade, which translates to 140 kg of food being wasted per person annually. The main reason for household wastage is expired food. Definitely something to avoid with simple actions like planning the amount of food needed and avoiding excessive purchases. This is in line with the top change motivator of saving money. Yep, Miss Lamb is here with another reminder. Bring a tumbler to contain your drink. Not only do you consume in a more responsible manner, you may even get a discount when you do so. The domestic and overall recycling rate stands at 19 and 60% respectively. With the installation of recycling bins at all housing blocks and landed properties, this increases the convenience and ease of recycling, which removes the argument that recycling is simply too much effort. However, these rates can be improved. Sam snacks shopping to reward herself after a long day at work today. Self check out Dan in a minute. Wait, you mean you need a plastic bag just for that small snack? Over the past 5 years, 3 billion plastic bags were used annually. In 2014 alone, 789,000 tons of plastic were disposed and a mere 9% was recycled. 60.3% of Singaporeans also store more plastic bags than necessary to use them for waste disposals back at home. Miss Lam appears once again with a reusable bag for Mary to store her snack. Bring a reusable bag when shopping for groceries is a small act that goes a long way in reducing unnecessary use of plastic bags. After analysing the statistics, let's hear what Singaporeans have to say. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but we tend to think things are in abundance, so we can just use it um, uh, however and whatever we want to use it. So uh, I think it's a bad habit that we definitely need to kick off. I think Singaporeans are always food lot because um, personally I have friends also when we go for buffets uh, they usually just order as much as they want just because they uh, think that the food is nice but once it doesn't taste as good as what they think it is then they will just leave it alone and unless um, let's say restaurants put like a restriction on the amount of food that you cannot uh, waste then they will actually try to finish if not they will just leave it there Yeah, yeah in terms of food wasted I think like generally for Singaporeans we are quite because some say of Singaporeans we are quite like stingy I guess are quite conscious about this kind of wastages like for example electricity right we will like for example my mom will like constantly remind me to like turn off everything like, mm -hmm. the room or everything. Singaporeans I think they are very wasteful. Yeah, um, in everyday life like a plastic bag actually they can be used but no, after they come back from the grocery they just throw it away. So I think. Not a good sign. I see. No, I'm not very sure. If you make a guess? Maybe. Uh, what's the uh, unit? OKG. OKG, OKG. 5,000. A lot. Once I watch the TV, I think. Uh, mm. Per day UKG, or per, per, per year? Per year, I yeah. think. It's by tons. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, around. Uh, I don't know. Like. 4. 1300 kg. Food waste is 140 kg. 100. Yeah, in one year. <laughs> yeah. Use food waste, for example, like eggshells. You can actually use eggshells to actually uh, plant small plants. I teach my children. My children is seven and eleven. I show them the methods how we can recycle things, like the bottle. You know, uh, we can actually reuse. And paper, we uh, try to use double side instead of instead of just one side. Then the, mm. the other side blank page, we, we throw it away. And also ask them to finish their food, lah. The ease of changing over is not as it's, it's not as simple as it seems, but I think they need more effort from outside. Yeah, as long as we make a small, we, we make effort to to go green. I think that's also uh, in, in a way it's also helpful to reduce the waste. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
environment, right? There will still be a small little effect. We need to have a collective effort, effort to actually uh, make it significant enough. Mm -hmm. But basically, we, we just need someone to start. As such, we would like to propose some recommendations. At the root of the issue, individuals can do their part to reduce wastage. Besides practicing the three R's, there are some specific ways to reduce the wastage of food, as well as wastage of water, and wastage of electricity. In addition, individuals can sell or donate functional items instead of throwing them. Opting for more resource-efficient appliances also means longer-term savings. Lastly, individuals should understand that every consumer choice will result in collective demands that drive the market. By consciously demanding for green products, corporations will be pressured to reduce wastage in their production life cycles. Corporates should also do their part to reduce wastage. Past focus on profits alone has driven companies to opt for the cheapest way to attain resources, regardless of the consequences to the environment. However, this business model is not sustainable. To be sustainable, corporates should focus on a new triple bottom line that includes the environmental and social aspect. Responsibility for products from cradle to grave also minimizes resource wastage during all processes. Corporate can also encourage responsible behaviors in the workplace to reduce wastage. For instance, tagging printouts to the user allows the company to track resource usage. Singapore's government has invested a lot of resources in promoting green causes and working towards a sustainable future. Communication and regulation enforcement should not slacken. Monitoring activities should also be conducted and regular feedback given to corporate to enhance effectiveness to better achieve government aims. Two other key drivers that aids in the reduction of wastage are none other than awareness and motivation. Early education is essential to cultivate a sense of awareness and responsibility towards the environment. Hence, we propose that environmental sustainability be incorporated into the primary school's curriculum in the form of classes, workshops or co-curriculum activities. Green challenges can be held together more creative ideas to aid Singapore in attaining its goal of becoming a greener nation. Facebook or application games can be developed too to target the current population who is very taken to playing games on smartphones. Organisers should also follow up on the community and national campaigns in place and update participants on the achieved targets to sustain and encourage participation. Raising awareness motivates Singaporeans internally to reduce wastage and contribute to a more sustainable future for Singapore. However, only a small number possess such self-generated drive. Hence, we propose extrinsic motivation for those who need the extra push. Firstly, the savings from reduced resource wastage can be highlighted to users. Secondly, rebates can be given to consumers to reward green behaviour of bringing their own reusable items. Role models displaying best practices can also be used to encourage Singaporeans to join the green movement. We believe that these suggestions are able to yield fruits for all parties. Individuals will be able to benefit from lower bills and expenses in the short term due to reduced use of resources. In the long term, a better environment with less wastage is created. For corporate, being identified as green will enhance companies' branding. Over time, this enables longer-lasting resources and a coexistence with the environment. Accompanying cost reduction and better branding will also contribute to long-term sustained profits. Singapore is a resource-scarce nation which relies largely on imports. By reducing wastage, Singapore can decrease its reliance on imports, which is essential in today's volatile world. With less wastage, the government can work towards achieving a greener, more sustainable and more competitive Singapore where resources can be channeled into other activities rather than on solutions to combat increasing waste. Though much effort is invested to reduce wastage in Singapore, a lot more could definitely be done to improve the current situation. Every stakeholder has their own part to play in creating a greener, more sustainable and more competitive Singapore. The efforts of one may seem insignificant, but this could well create a ripple effect to influence others around. When taken in aggregation, the effects are significant. The question is, are you willing to make the change? Mm -hmm.